a summer without warmth. Fields empty, crops dying, and the sky is stuck in a strange reddish twilight. Sounds like a scene from a disaster movie, right? But this was real. It was 1860, a year so cold and chaotic, it earned the nickname, the year without a summer. And the crazy part, it all started with one massive event, halfway across the globe. Today we are diving into how a single volcanic eruption changed the course of history. So our story kicks off on April 10, 1850, on the Indonesian island of Sumbawa. That's when Mount Tambora erupted. And not just a little, this was the biggest volcanic eruption in recorded history. On the Volcanic Explosivity Index, it hit a 7. Only 4 eruptions in the last 1000 years have reached that level. The blast was so loud, people heard it more than 2000 kilometers away. Tsunamis followed, entire islands were wiped out. And around 70,000 people died almost instantly. But that was just the beginning. The eruption sent around 100 cubic kilometers of ash, dust, and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, high enough to spread across the planet. The massive cloud of volcanic material didn't just vanish, it circled the globe, forming a thick haze that blocked sunlight. By the time 1816 rolled around, things were weird and cold. Average global temperature dropped by about half a degree Celsius. Doesn't sound like much, tell that to the farmers. Summer frost became normal, crops failed, snow in June. In Switzerland, rivers froze, in Hungary, yellow snow fell. China's monsoon went heavier, India faced famine. People started calling it 1800 and froze to death. Even the sun looked eerie, dim and surrounded by haunting reds and purples at sunrise and sunset. The results were brutal. With harvests falling, famine spreads across Europe, North America and Asia. Food prices skyrocketed, riots break out in France and Ireland. People ate whatever they could find, cats, rats and even sawdust. In desperation, many packed up and left. Tens of thousands, especially from Germany and Ireland, migrated to America, searching for better weather and better chances. Because let's be real, no one wants to spend another summer eating tree bark and wearing five sweaters indoor. But out of all this gloom came some unexpected spark of creativity. In Switzerland, trapped indoors by dear weather, a group of writers decided to pass the time by telling ghost stories. One of them was Mary Shelley, the result, Frankenstein. Yep, this volcanic winter gave to one of the most iconic monsters in literature. And with the horses dying off due to starvation, a German inventor named Karl Dreis came up with new way to get around. The world's first bicycle. Necessity really is the mother of invention, even if that necessity is caused by a super volcano. The year without a summer is a powerful reminder of how connected everything on earth really is. One eruption in Indonesia causes chaos across continents, altering weather, causing famine, sparking migrations, and even inspiring new ideas. It's a dramatic example of how natural forces can shake up our world, and a warning that climate shifts, whether natural or human-made, can have far-reaching consequences. The story of Mount Tambora and 1816 is one of those strange hidden chapters in history that changed everything. What other natural disasters do you think reshaped the world in a way we have barely noticed? Drop your thoughts in the comments and if your brain just got hit with a cold gust of historical knowledge, give this video a like, subscribe to the Brain Drop and ring the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Thank you for watching.